Okay, no ghosts. So Ray Parker Jr. will be afraid or he ain't afraid. Damn these double negatives. Oh, we got a nice breeze wafting through the credits. Things that refuse to die generally aren't known for haunting. This is the second piece the singing bus auditioned with. Look, one way or another, this is going to get remade with Owen Wilson. Man, George Bailey's got to put in work on this house. Sarah from the Snob is crying by those trees. Oh, the bat signal shining through the window. Where's Hitchcock? Still in the bathroom? So when does Herman come out of those stairs? Okay, so that song was just about a breakup, but now we're getting to the haunted house, right? It's a ghost. The ghost of a house. This raises so many questions about house souls. But it hasn't always been like this. Once when it was time, new, it was the set the of the Donna Reed new, Show. Happy people lived here. Like Shirley and Temple and Clara Bow. of his house. Not a worry in the world. This man's house was his castle. Eh, I guess I gotta admit, the castle in Florida is better. And then the trouble began. With a capital T, and that rhymes with G, and that stands for ghosts. A drawer that wouldn't close. A window that wouldn't open. It looks open to me. Greater faults. Things that took Good thing a Wizard of Oz farmhand was there to fix the door. The owner could never permanently cure his house of these ailments. Ailments like all the George Lucas wipes. as time went on. Boingy, boingy, boingy. He gave up. He realized the trouble was far below the surface. In the foundation under the house. Okay, so this is a home repair short. Today, every man's automobile is his house on wheels. What? Giving him a roof over his head. I mean, yeah, in a very literal sense, but is this really the setup you're going with? Besides moving him about wherever he wants to go. But there are haunted cars. This first draft of Christine is terrible. Haunted houses. Boy, talk about our house in the middle of our street. So if a car is a house, what does that make a garage? Must be built to withstand an earthquake every second or oftener. When it Look, I miss the Fleischers on Superman, but I'm not this desperate for their work. Twisting and turning. If a car does not have a good foundation. I'm picking up good foundations. Of ghosts. Body joints loosen up. Bringing squeaks and rattles. So, not Even ghosts. The tires, get more wear. The tires are getting the wear and tear because you put a whole house on them. A car must have a strong foundation. I mean, foundation is also key with makeup. There were so many places we could go with this. Few people see the real foundations of their houses, and few owners see the frames of their automobiles. Man, he is butchering there are talking many heads lyrics. Engineering developments in the modern automobile frame, which aren't apparent when you look at the car. Because we did a bad That's job with them. What an automobile frame has to do, and what kind of a frame is required to do the job. This line is the road. That is not the road. It's you can't fool me, Wiley Coyote. And this is the body. A dead body? Now let's look at it from another viewpoint. Looking down on top of the car. Made it, Ma. The car is supported at four corners. Where Rusty wheel. Griswold tries to have sex. We must have a strong, rigid foundation. That line was written by either Mussolini or E.L. James. So let's take off the body and build a foundation. Shouldn't you have built Starting it before putting on the body? Of steel, which we will call side members. By the way, I'd like to thank now my side members for supporting me on Patreon. Side members apart and something to hold them together. The duality of side so members. We two more steel pieces, what is this, truck amuck? We call Cross members. Cross members is what I say when I can't now remember the word Christian. Those front wheels. It was bold to have the queue for Haunted Mansion room. actually lead to World well, of Motion. Let's give them all the, room they want. the back wheels let's would like some room too, but we don't love them as much as the front wheels. That's better. How about the rear end of the hey, frame? ogle on your own time. One cross member. Sir, well, please keep this professional and you can fantasize about members in rear ends at home. Support for the gas tank, but we need something stronger than that. Let's put in another one. Yeah, okay, that DJ Khaled. The frame strong and rigid. Again, fantasize and about strong and rigid members off the clock. Foundation won't go together in the middle like this. 
Let's put in another cross member. What do you mean, right let's? I'm not involved in this. Now we have a frame that you can't pull apart. Without that beam, a guy could pull it apart with his bare hands. Pretty good job. I really am incredible. Hey there, that won't do. Well, don't snap at me. You, you drew it like this. Thing. You take the credit, you put take the blame. More steel girders, like the letter Y. As in, why do now, we care? Any force applied here will be transferred to the center of the frame. God, even Bob Gurr's getting bored of this. We don't want to be compelled to make this center cross piece too heavy. Who's this we? You're the one doing this. Spread the strain. Let's put in these members, like the letter K. And you're going to need KY for the member and the rear end. The We're going to support the front of the engine here. With a $3 pledge so, so we, we can hear the At Home with the Front of the Engine podcast. To support the rear of the engine. Now we've designed a skeleton frame. No ghost, Before but there's a we skeleton. It, we'll have to do some figuring. And the first thing we want to know is... What, what am I supposed to do with this information? The most severe strain. Or, as engineers would say, where is the point of maximum stress? The point of maximum this stress is, is my house, which is haunted. Supported at each end. From houses to we cars to random steel beams. Of this piece of steel. Be sure to tie it with a knot that disappears for a single frame. Up and down... And it doesn't break. This whole short is the stuff Adam McKay tells us in a celebrity cutaway. But suppose we fasten a steel box over half the length of the beam and again apply the weight. And putting a box on a bench will rid my car of ghosts? This is what happened to Homsar. While this end was held rigid by the steel box above it, this point was doing most of the bending. Right here at the edge of the box. So put another leg there. We've got ghosts to worry about. As an engineer would say, the stress was localized. I guess it takes more than cutout animation and heavy weight to make a Monty Python sketch. The point of greatest strain is here at the front edge of the steel box or body of the car. All this to program a putt-putt game. That point is here. The usual way of building this part of the frame... They keep to the no-ghost promise by ensuring this animator does not suffer a fatal heart attack. In this frame, we're going to use two steel girders... And like set the whole project severely over budget. ...with a heavy steel plate known as a gussie. A gussie? This construction gives us rigid strength... God, Daniel Steele's prose isn't this horny. Another point of great stress is... Here. Did they have to watch this so whole tutorial here, before making each one of the 50 million cars in Achievement USA? Give us extra strength. After watching this, I need when extra strength Tylenol. The frame we have designed, we'll find that there is another point of heavy strain. Here in the hump. Don't say hump, you dirty old man. Up to get over the rear axle. So, we'll give it a reinforcement too. Yeah, just reinforce every strained part. This could have been summarized. Between the front and rear springs. Knee action. We are the knights who say knee action. Let's make the front end of the car as rigid as possible. I wanted a spooky Let's short, not a kinky short. Use this sturdy girder of steel. Sturdy girder. Wasn't wheel. that what they called Margaret Thatcher? It's time to add these brackets, called step hangers, which support the running boards. And now look out for the rivets. Oh, nothing in the short is riveting. Watch out, Rosie's just pelting them randomly. 219 tough steel rivets to hold our frame together. And no cutting corners. If you only use 218, the left blinker will explode. Now, we have a strong, rigid foundation. You can hear him leering when he says that. Should be Y2K for how anticlimactic this feels. the hardest usage for tens of thousands of miles. Strong, heavy side members for support. Sturdy cross members for rigidity. A male narrator talking about rigid members is the most queer rep we got back then. Heavy reinforcements at points of greatest strain. And this is how we build the ectomobile, and that's why there's no ghosts. And a strong cross piece to hold the knee action wheels. Such a frame gives rigid support to the whole car. Unlike the framing device for this short, which is incredibly shaky. Have a firm foundation. The body and every part of the car ride on a frame that is solid, strong, and safe. Ah, cars really are perfectly safe. There's no way someone injured in one would take several months to recover. Good roads or bad roads. This will all be redundant when Doc Brown gets us a hover conversion. Your car has a foundation to protect all vital parts from damaging shocks and strains. Ah, this house looks like it's getting a visit from the wet bandits. Winters may come and go. But such a house on wheels. Yes, car models will never come and go. Creaks 
and rattles of a haunted house. House MD had more to do with houses. Ah, this spooky music gets me hyped to build a car. Even Jam Handy sounds filthy. Well, I guess technically there was no false advertising. The short was called No Ghosts, and there were no ghosts in it. Happy Halloween? Much like a car that's also a house, I need good, sturdy support, and that's why I'm grateful to my patrons, who not only offer their financial support, but also join me in some Patreon live streams to watch this short with me and baffle at its many twists and turns. I needed someone to actually confirm I was watching what I thought I was watching. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2, you can see next week's video, where I finally give Universal Studios Hollywood the daytime Halloween treatment it deserves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm I'm still recovering from the injury I got in my perfectly safe house on wheels. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off.